I was at a shopping center not too long ago, and this guy was very upset because he was playing his guitar, uh, doing rock uh, shreds and, and things like that. And he couldn't figure out why he had only about $3.25 in his uh, guitar case. I'm not one to criticize what other people are doing because I figured they have some idea what they're doing. But it's not the way I would do it. There's a lot of rock music out there. There are a lot of guitarists out there. Unfortunately, a lot of them are quite bad. And so a person walking down the street, passing the musician, will think, oh, another guitarist, okay, fine. Some more rock, okay, fine. And just walk past. I play what is known as a button accordion, or otherwise known as a melodeon. This is an instrument that the mariachis and the Cajun players play. It can be difficult to learn. It takes some time. I've been doing mine for over 20 years. I choose music uh, in two ways. I choose uh, slow music and fast music, of course, different speeds for different feelings and t tempos and times. I also choose music that for the most part is familiar or even if they don't maybe know the song, the chord structure is familiar enough that they feel that they know the song. This is one of the reasons I specialize in TV theme songs. I have felt that people don't want to be musically challenged in the same way that you don't want to wear the latest shoes if they are uncomfortable. You want to have a, a worn in um, comfortable pair of shoes. I believe that's the same with music. If you're not a musician, you want to have comfortable music playing to you. So I do some various TV theme songs, and I do the Popeye the Sailor uh, song, and I do uh, the theme from the Three Stooges, which is um, Three Blind Mice. Uh, and I do, um, but I do some jazz, I do some, um, um, well, let's say, what do I do? For jazz, my main uh, thing is a song um, uh, called uh, St. Thomas, a Sonny Rollins tune, or at least uh, he did the most famous version of it. But again, I want to do things that are accessible to people, even if they have not heard the music. And... One of the things I like to do is stuff that is universally accepted by young and old. They can kind of bop their head and like, oh, I know that song, or I, I should know that song. Sometimes if they express interest or they cock their head a little bit, I'll say, do you know what song that is? And they'll say, oh, uh, no, I, I know I've, I've heard it before, but I can't place it. And I say, well, it's the theme from, you know, whatever it is, the Andy Griffith show, for instance, or, or what have you. That seems to work very well, doing familiar tunes, or at least, if it's not familiar tunes, then familiar chord structures. I tend to favor the doo-wop chord structure, which would be, um, in the key of C, it would be a C, uh, A minor, F, and G, which is the basis for hundreds of songs from the rock era until, basically until the Beatles. And even if people have not heard the particular song I'm playing, they are familiar with the chord structure. And, you know, again, if something is familiar, they will tend to like it, and they will tend to tip. I had somebody walk across a parking lot um, the other day, uh, about a week ago, uh, to give me a $5 tip because I played Popeye the Sailor. Now, my uh, accordion is sort of loud, and it will carry about a block, uh, especially if I'm really aggressive with it. And uh, so she ran across the uh, parking lot and tipped me $5 for playing Popeye the Sailor. This is the kind of stuff I get. Um, 
and it works really, really quite well. People uh, tend to like me a lot. I will, uh, in a future um, presentation, tell you about what I do in terms of where I play and how much I play, how often I play a particular venue. So you might want to hang out for that. In the meanwhile, uh, like me or comment or whatever you do, and I would definitely appreciate that, and thanks for watching.